Hi, Gems, Geminis. Happy birthday. They'll be coming up shortly here. Um, so when I was, let me tell you, I don't know the last time I could have possibly heard this song, but La Bouche, Be Your Lover, popped into my head. Which, of course, makes me think that we are going to be discussing something about love. Huh? Oh, Geminis, who do you have your eyes set on now? Because I don't think that it's somebody that you're currently dealing with. Let's see. Energies are going to be taking place between May, June. Um, we saw in Aries that it is going to be going through at least cancer season which ends in July, so who knows? But as of right now, it is definitely going to be pushing forward three of cups, like I said. Gemini's, like, I must admit, I do not envy the multiple energies that you all have going on at one time. We have the sun, because I think that at certain periods, and a lot of people wouldn't understand this, other air signs do, Pisces would, who else? Sag. I mean, that's your opposing sign. So, Seven of Cups. But before I, you know, sit up here and start to tusk, tusk, tisk, tisk, whatever you guys say, uh, to, to you act in this manner, Nine of Cups, there could be a reason why. Four of Cups. Okay, there's some type of emotional lack non-satisfaction uh, <laughs> non that you are getting from a current connection that I Gemini's my loves as a fellow air sign I know that I can get down to the nitty-gritty with you all right and not be judged I know sometimes you may not want to hear it but let's keep it all the way real Gemini's, you have got to get over this phase of not wanting to disappoint people. I think that a lot of the things that you choose to do, the ways in which you choose to act, are because you are afraid of what people may think, what they may say. And if you choose the wrong route, according to you, you still want to have a fallback plan. Uh -uh. We are over that in 2021. Do you hear me, Gemini's? I don't care if you are a sun, a moon, a rising, or have Gemini in some other major part of your chart. Stop it. Stop it. Because not only are you holding yourself back, but you are taking the you are taking choice away from somebody else, which is absolutely not fair. And if you are unsatisfied, say that. I think again that. You will be, and this is for everybody that may be watching this video, um, maybe you're watching this on behalf of somebody else that is a Gemini or has some type of relation to that zodiac sign. But I think that we are very capable of handling the truth. We may not like it. It may not be what we want to hear. But my goodness, as much as we have lost and seen change within the last year here, especially with this pandemic, I would hope, I would really hope that you had learned something and that trying to ghost, trying to dip out, trying to be unfair, trying to put another person's health at risk if you're sleeping with other people, I just think, just stop. Please just stop. Put on your big girl, big boy pants and just tell the truth. Say that I am missing something from this connection I'm out, you know, or have the conversation so you can see if it can work out something. But I promise you, if you go down this route, if you go down and act in the manner in which I'm about to read in these cards, you have no one else to blame but yourself. And I think that you all are so quick to move on to the next thing that you put yourself in some very terrible situations that build up your karma, okay? And you guys are, you're, you're in the limelight, you know? Like the North Node is in your sign. You have so many blessings that could come on you if you would just believe in that power. 
okay, and not do what you've always done. So I'm going to take this in the manner that you have grown. You do realize that what you are thinking about doing is a no-no and that this is what you are trying to avoid. This is how you use to act, Gemini. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to read it from that perspective, but I promise you, if you do do exactly this, it's not going to be good for you. I'm, I'm just putting that out there. So we have the three of cups. Like I was saying, there is there is more than one energy that is playing a role here, and I, I don't know if either of the other parties outside of you know, Um I'm sure they probably pick up on a little something, something, but inevitably they're not 100% certain. You're the only common denominator here throughout all of these connections. Um, we have the sun. So I can see that this is going to be coming to head potentially in July because of the seven of cups here. And the reason why I was saying that maybe this is happening because of a particular reason, regardless of, you can still be the better, the bigger person, I should say, Gemini, that if there is something that is happening within your current situation that you are not a fan of, please communicate that. And especially because if even if you don't necessarily move on to this next person, but the next relationships that you are going to be attracted into your life, whether they are for love, whether are they platonic, whether they are from a family perspective, you want to make sure that you are able to learn how to navigate that particular connection itself. And oh no. Incense. So it's a little bit of it fell on the floor. Yeesh. Um so that you're not, you know, carrying forward the same stale energy, the same things so that you're going to be attracting the same type of behaviors into your future connections. I do in all honesty, believe that there is some type of selfish motive to this. I mean, of course there is, if you're not being open, honest, and truthful. Um, and with your birthday season, you know, like you, you could be going with what is making you feel more special, right? You know, um, you could be going with certain con a certain connection or feeding into energy that seems to be feeding into you, right? But... Just be smart here. Please, 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 please be smart here. We have the Four of Cups, which means that you're paying attention to maybe one thing that you may not be getting, one thing that may be missing for you or that you've always wanted compared to everything else that you have. And that's totally your prerogative. That is well within your right. If you want something very specific, then go out there and find it, but then realize where you have to let the person that you're currently connected with go. Okay, you, having your cake, and of course you wanna eat it, you know, like that's, I get that. That's that's what you do when you are indulging, right? But to what degree is it turned into gluttony? What degree is it just out of pure selfishness that you think that you can absolutely have everything um, but take away from other people? It just does not bode well for anybody involved if that is the way that you are going to be acting, Gemini's. You know, um, and if you do, let's just put it out there. If you want to have multiple partners, if you don't want to be in a relationship, if you don't want to be married anymore, all of those types of things, then don't. Like, it's it's really that simple, you know. Um, but just understand that all choices have consequences. And this one is not going to be an easy one for you because, again, I think this is this could be a test. This really could be a test to see how much you have actually grown and if you've really picked up on the lessons that you have been meant to learn. And if not, I'm telling you, it's not going to end well. And I'm not talking about, oh, you'll just end up alone. You can deal with that for a certain period of time. And Gemini's, you have a very easy time attracting other people into your life, friends, all of that. Like you, you are a social person but again to how how far does it go
the the feeling that I have about you know um, the comment that I had spoken to about you know like if you make the wrong choice for some of you I think that you are having regrets in where you are now compared to where you have been in the past again because you were doing some shady stuff you know but all of this can simply be remedied if you just speak up say what's on your mind you know um be vulnerable don't expect anything you know like but you can still honor yourself you I mean, I literally have a million and one thoughts running into my head right now, but it's like none of them are able to come out. Like I, all I can say is choose wisely, Gemini's. Choose wisely and act accordingly. We are about to go into um, Mercury retrograde and you know, um, the pre-shadow phase you guys have some choices to make like i can feel my heart in my throat one because that's how worked up you just got me it gemini's but also, like, I, I know how scary it can be. And I know that you act in this manner because you're afraid. You are you are trying to avoid doing what you know you need to do. And all, I just, I'm, I'm literally begging you, choose different. Don't do what you normally did. Be honest. Be direct. Don't try and somehow figure out a way where this is going to be able to work in your favor no matter what. There is there is going to be a side of this that you're not going to have. And that's just that's just period. That's just it. But there's just some making amends stuff here that you whether it's to yourself. Or to another person, Gemini. I just, I, if you want more information into your situation, by all means, feel free to book a reading with me. But that's that's where we are right now. Ugh. Ugh. I was rooting for you. Still am, you know. I, I have a soft spot in my heart for Gemini's. bottom of the deck first gates of triumph success expands in your life i feel like this is going to be two and two um but we're just going to give them all to you so we have staying focused hold the course i really do believe that that is about you know like you you've gotten this far you have learned a lot gemini's whether you truly acknowledge it or not you have gone through some things within the last few years here, and it's been to it's been for you to grow. And I really do feel like again, you this is a test. This is a test, 
And you, are, you, you can fail if you would like, but just know you're going to continue to go through this test until you finally get it. Um, and I'm hope I'm hoping that you get it now because this tower moment does not feel good to me. Like I, I don't like it. I don't like it. And I, I, I promise you, this is not going to be one of those situations where it's just like, oh well, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it pushing. Like it's going to put you on your ass, and you're going to. There's there's nothing else you're going to be able to do. You're not going to be able to be woe is me. You're not going to be able to question how did I get here. You're going to know. You're going to know. And I feel like it's the moment that the words are meant to come out of your mouth and you choose to continue forward in the manner which you should not be. The moment the 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 behaviors that you're supposed to have grown from is going to be in that very moment that you set your path. Okay. Um, we have transformation, a fresh new way of living emerges unknown territory you are exactly where you need to be and then we have valiant courage take action with passion um and so i feel like the staying focus and transformation has to do with the warning, warning. <laughs> like do it if you want to gems do it do it but we're we're going to make you feel feel it and then you have this unknown territory and this valiant courage which i think are really going to be beautiful for you you know like uh secretly you wanting to just be this person that can win um that can win by being yourself and in order to do that you need to be yourself you need you need you need to trust in people but more importantly you need to trust in you gemini's and i think you continue you, you've been selling yourself short for way too long that's what i have for you um like i said if you want more uh details directly into your situation feel free to book a reading with me all that information is down in the description box below join me and the rest of the fire family on facebook on instagram on twitter definitely here on youtube make sure to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you all very soon Mwah. take care bye oh i'm also up here Hey Taurus, happy birthday to you. <laughs> the Abby Phoenix here. Welcome back to my channel. Hello to those of you who may be new. Let's just jump right into your reading. Um, I do really feel as if the energies um, of this reading are going to be carrying forward into June at the very minimum. So let's see what pops up for you. Ten of Swords. Knight of Swords. You guys got some heavy mental stuff going on right now. Jesus. Nine of Swords. The Hermit. The Knight of Cups. Okay, so and the Knight of Rods. I said did I say Knight of Knight of Cups? I mean King of Cups, I'm sorry. Um Okay, so you guys are definitely all up in here with yours, um, which is not necessarily a great place for Taurus to be. <laughs> you guys are about doing, you guys are about, you know, the stuff that is going to produce results. When you are thinking, I feel like it could be danger, danger to everyone in your life. Just keeping it real, okay? Um, but ultimately, this has something to do with your emotional state. Um, I think that uh, there must be some type of battle here between uh, between what you're thinking and what you're feeling. And then ultimately, your guides and universe want you to get to this place where you can finally act, even if it's small. You know, again, even if it's a knight versus a queen or a king, um, or a page even, uh, they want you to start small because it's not like you don't know what to do. It's not like that 
you uh, this is new for you, a new type of relationship, possibly, you know, like maybe this is something that you've just never had to you've never had the opportunity to experience before. Um, and so it's calling for you to behave differently. It's calling for you to act differently. But it's really it's I think you're thinking about it a little bit too heavily, Taurus. So with this Ten of Swords, um, and with you all, because you you keep a track record of everything, right? Like there isn't anything that um, I was wondering what that was. It's my tag. Um, there isn't anything that you necessarily forget, <laughs> and that's putting it a little bit lightly, right? Um, so I think as you are turning the pages of your past, as you're looking into your previous relationships, and more than likely you're looking at how the other person acted versus yourself. Did you hear me? Or do I need to say it louder for those of you in the back? Um, but you're looking at the other person when I really think that you should be looking at yourself. Like why did you perhaps have very similar circumstances when it came to your relationships and in all honestly all honestly all honesty the ending result of it failing is what you are thinking about looking at considering and so um as you are you know taking these swords out of your back you know i i would not be surprised if some of you think like i've i've been betrayed um, I've been, um, you know, the product of somebody's dishonest, honesty, um, all of those types of things. As you're thinking about that, you know, I think that the universe is trying to get you again to really consider how you played a role in the result of your relationships, because I don't, I don't know what it is. Maybe you have somebody that you really, really like, um, or maybe you have somebody that you're trying to call in, you know, like you're, you're trying to prepare yourself for your next relationship. Um, and that always means going through at least the ones who are truly about doing the work, truly about making the next relationship better than the last, you know, like you have to do some homework, you have to do some reevaluating. And so in particular, in particular for you, I feel that that is the ultimate goal in the next few few weeks here. Um, and it's, I mean, it's not going to happen that quickly, but I think there's going to be some type of epiphany moment where you are really going to realize, like, it's not even about the other person. You don't know why that person acts the way that they did. You don't know their their real motives. You don't know why it didn't work from their perspective. The only person you have control over is yourself. And so that is where you need to start. That is where you need to start asking the questions like, what is it that I ultimately want? What do I need to do better? You know, um, what what goal do I want to have? Do I just want it to be a dating type of relationship? Do I want this to potentially move into marriage? Do I want to have a family with this person? Like asking yourself those type of questions so you know how you need to improve to show up. Um, and so I think that's where the Knights of Swords is coming in. Is like, you got to go back to the basics. You have to go back to your foundation, understanding what it is that you learned, um, what it is that you have, you know, continued to teach yourself, and then ultimately what you may need to, to change because it's not working for your ultimate goal. The Nine of Swords, um, I think going through these emotions is heavy for you, Taurus. I don't think that, you know, you like looking into the mirror and seeing exactly how you were the common denominator in all of these circumstances and and you know pointing the finger back at yourself to say you know like i i did this you know like this this was a product of me doing x y and z and i think that hurts to to a certain degree um but I want you to understand too, like if you knew then what you knew now, it'd be a different story, right? So this is just one little piece in the grand scheme of things. You know, like we we all are not perfect. I know that you like to think that you are Taurus and oh, I love to give you that type of energy. But in this type of situation, I think you just really need to be serious with yourself. I think that you really need to, um, be honest and you know stop trying to place the blame on anybody else and so that does mean that you're going to be going into this hermit mode you know like when you're dealing with feelings and emotions and responsibility 
Um, I think it takes you out of your normal day to day groove. And ultimately, I think that that is nice for you because sometimes you all will fake the funk like everything is copacetic and it's not, it isn't. And um, one of the things I absolutely love about, um, you know, when you are really in your spiritual zone is you understand that it's not always about, let me talk positivity and, you know, out into the universe because that's what I want to return back. To. It's not any of that. You know, it's really being real. It's it's tapping into your, your emotions and being like, why do I feel the way that I feel right now? And you're dealing with it as you're starting, as you start to reveal the answers to those, to that question, you start to, to change certain things. Um, and so I think that this hermit mode is going to be really good for you, um, Taurus. Don't fight it. Because if you can't show up for yourself, you definitely can't show up for anybody else. And so this King of Cups, I really do think that it's, it's your emotional state. Um, once you go through this phase, I think that you're going to come out on top. I think that you're going to be able to feel um, a lot lighter to breathe, you know, this this fresh air out into your life, and then you'll be able to act accordingly. And I mean, it's your birthday season, you know, so if you have to, you know, sit there and take some time off why not <laughs> you know why not so let's get your message for may june I just, okay, I'm hearing like, at the end of the day, based off of how you have acted in your life thus far, Taurus, who's gonna be standing beside you on your most important days? Who's going to be celebrating you? Like those type of questions I think are really cutting you inside because it's just like, well, dang, like, <laughs> you're you're just you're really looking into who who is still in your corner um based off of how you how you've acted so we have rainbow blessings blessings are showering your life and then we have taking shelter the answers are within um bottom of the deck energy fellow travelers support is all around you um, so yeah, I think that as you're going through all of this, you're really considering like who, who's, who are my people? Um, and if your people still aren't the people that are coming to mind because of something that you've done, I, I really, I really hope that you take ownership of that and, you know, dig deep and apologize, you know, like take, take some action. Like there is going to be work for you to do. Um, to be able to get back to the stage. Like I said, it's not going to happen overnight, but um, and your hermit stage, don't get stuck there. Please, please, please don't get stuck there because you don't want to take ownership and accountability of yourself, Taurus. Um, the timing of this is going to be what you make it. I, I hope that helps. Uh, answer some of the you know questions you may have been having as of late um, please join the fire family uh, as well as myself over on Facebook you Facebook Instagram and Twitter here please like share comment and subscribe if you want more direct information into your um, situation feel free to book a reading with me all of the information is down in the description box below I'm sending you so much love again happy birthday Mwah. be blessed